Hey, this is the Rusted Willow, and my name is Tammy. If you like DIYs, hauls, flips, and everything farmhouse on a budget, you are in the right place. Let's get to DIY number one. All right, guys, this is what the basket looked like when I bought it from the thrift store. I believe I paid a dollar for it. And if you watch Julie's Designs and Signs, she actually made a lavender basket with a basket just like this. So you'll have to go over and watch her video to see how she made that. But that's not what I'm making. So remember that bed post or that bed post? Remember the bed frame that I hauled a few weeks ago or I mentioned in my haul and my husband said, what do we need a bed frame for? And I said, it's not a bed frame, it's spindles. Okay, well, these are those spindles. And I took them out and cut them down on the saw. Yes, I did it myself. He actually came out to make sure I didn't cut out, cut off any fingers <laughs> after I already had them cut, of course. So I took these uh, spindles outside. I cut them down on the saw and I made feet out of them. And I am using three of them and I am attaching them to the bottom of this basket. It does have a wooden bottom, so it's perfect. I did actually spray paint this, I forgot to mention, with a uh, white two times Rust-Oleum flat spray paint. I do use the Rust-Oleum spray paint for pretty much everything. Okay, and so I attach, this basket is kind of tall with the feet on there, so I attach it with my drill, and I did add some wood glue. I used a uh, Gorilla wood glue. And I just put the screws through the bottom just a little bit, just so I could get them started and um, add the wood glue. So here I am, I'm putting wood glue on the bottom. And that way I can find where to put the legs. So I did pre-drill the legs and I did pre-drill the holes in the basket. So then I started the screws in the basket just so they're sticking out just enough to where I can put the spindle on top of the screw and then I go ahead and use my drill and screw them all the way in. This is a collaboration with my girl Missy over at Crafty Cove. We have done lots of collaborations together. She is the sweetest thing ever. She's amazing. She comes up with some really cute DIYs. She flips and all things farmhouse. You need to go over and make sure you visit her channel. Show her some love. Guys, she's almost at 3,000 subscribers. So we need to get her there. We need to get her there. And then we need to get me there <laughs> too. But let's get her there first. All right, guys, on to DIY number two. All these DIYs I had already pre-spray painted because I didn't want you guys to sit through all that. So this is actually a metal leaf. I found this at the thrift store and I believe it was $2.99. So I gave it a coat of flat Rust-Oleum two times spray paint in black, as you can see. And then I am going over it with an Oops paint from Lowe's. This is the Valspar. Um, I think I paid $1.50 for it and it's kind of a orangey brown color, like a rust, but not as dark as a rust. I am going to make this leaf ombre with the colors of fall. Anyway, I found this leaf and I thought it was perfect. I've had this in my stack for a long time now. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pull it out and get it done. The colors I use are this Oops paint, which I don't have the name to it because I didn't put it on there. And I use the Pumpkin by Waverly. I use the Moss by Waverly. And I also use the Hazy by Folk Art. And the last three were from Plaid. You're probably tired of hearing us say by Plaid. <laughs> but we're Plaid ambassadors, so we have to say by Plaid. <laughs> I put my four colors on there and then I just start blending it together and I put the colors on from the top to the bottom to the point of the leaf and then I go back and blend it all together the opposite direction if that makes any sense and then you can kind of see like it muted the orange and the orange you know blended in with the the rust color and I just love how this turns out now the only thing I didn't do I didn't dark wax it and I didn't white wax it so when you see the final look, you're going to have to let me know down in the comments below if you would have white waxed this or not, because I thought about going back over it with some white wax just to kind of bring out the texture because it is really textured. But then I loved the color variation. 
so I didn't want to lose the integrity of the colors that I put together on here. This is what it looks like guys and it looks even better after it's dry. So I just go over the stem with that rust color again because I just feel like this is the colors of fall. I mean you know how the leaves turn and they go from green to brown to gray, you know, orange. I mean, it just anyway, I love these colors together. It couldn't have turned out more gorgeous. I love it. So I am using my heat gun to dry it. And then I take it out and I use the Rust-Oleum two times sealer in that. I hope you find something in this video that is inspiring, that inspires you to go thrifting or to flip flip those thrifts that you already have on hand or to find something in your house and make it new again. Don't forget to go and do all the YouTube things. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends and family. You know, all that good stuff. On to DIY number three. All right, so I found this wood bowl for $2. And I thought it was a bowl, but then it's got a screw hole in the bottom. I don't know what it would have screwed onto or what this would have been. But anyway, I give it a good sanding. I just fill that hole. I thought it was a light, but there's no place for a light. So I don't know what this would have screwed onto. It, it didn't make any sense to me. Anyway, I just use my spackle from DT and I fill that hole. And I do go over it and sand it again. I'm using my plaster paint in Waverly. And I give it two good coats. And because I sanded it, it goes on so smooth. Guys, I got to tell you about these sanding blocks. I went to Harbor Freight and I got 10 sanding blocks in 60 grit for $4.99. If you do the math, that's 50 cents a piece. Cheaper than Dollar Tree, much better quality. I will not be buying the sanding blocks from Dollar Tree ever again. I love these sanding blocks from Harbor Freight. They last so long and they don't fall apart. I mean, they work so well and you're not sitting there and sanding 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 I'm telling you what they work so well uh, you got to go to Harbor Freight and get you some good sanding blocks and I know everybody uses the ones from Dollar Tree but I'm here to tell you these are cheaper and they're much better quality so anyway just a tip okay so after I give it two good coats I distress it just a tiny bit not a whole lot but just a little bit and then I go back over it with some Waverly white wax. I also go over it and spray it with um, the matte sealer from Rust-Oleum. All my products are spray painted in black, two times Rust-Oleum, matte black, and then I seal them with the matte sealer from Rust-Oleum and then after I paint it, I go over it again and seal it again. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and supporting me. I really appreciate it. And if you are new here, please say hi in the comment. Let me know if I need to thank somebody for sending you my direction. All right, on to DIY number four. Okay, I found these. Oh goodness, when did I find these? July? I don't know, June or July, I found these at Goodwill. 29 cents a piece for all these little pumpkins and gourds. And they are like terracotta or terracotta. So I could have sanded all these down, which I probably should have. The paint would have stuck better, but I just left them shiny. But then I did go and sand down the stems because I wanted the stems to be a different color. But if um, you haven't seen crafting and pajamas with crafty peeps that's when I started this project is over there so you'll have to go and watch that um, replay it was live on YouTube 
uh, last Saturday. Yes, last Saturday. So if you haven't seen that, you'll have to go over and watch that because we had a lot of fun. Um, we had some technical difficulties, so we lost some people. But after we got going, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, I am, I painted these in agave, moss, and hazy. Agave and moss are the Waverly chalk paint by plaid and hazy is the folk art paint chalk paint by plaid as well and then I go back in with a Martha Stewart copper in metallic and you see three of those jars like literally I have two jars off to the side and one jar in front of me I still have another full jar my mother had four full brand new jars of this copper I don't know what she was planning on painting but um, anyway, it, here it is five years later. I just opened this jar up and it's like brand new. Like this paint from Martha Stewart is the shit. I don't know. Anyway, go get you some. It's really good. Okay, so on to DIY number five. All right, so I found this basket um, and it's just a, I don't know, a pretty cool basket, I thought. I, again primered it in black flat paint and I was going to go over it with white and distress it but then I thought you know what no we're gonna do it in fall colors so I just um, am brushing on some copper with a small brush and then I decided um, this is taking too long guys <laughs> I am just literally um, what do you call that dry brushing I'm just dry brushing on copper and I feel like you know I, I get a bigger brush I'm like okay let, let's get this done so I get a bigger brush and I just dry brush on copper all over it all over the black and oh my god stunning stunning like it is gorgeous so let me know what you guys think if you are digging copper for fall if you like the fall colors are you doing traditional what are you doing for fall colors? Um, some people are doing navy, which is gorgeous. I love agave. Like, I found a new love. I'm loving that agave color. Um, and I love me the moss color. So, um, I don't know. I'm just torn. But anyway, so this is what that basket turns out. Okay, guys. So, this is Flipping Into Fall with Missy at Crafty Cove. Don't forget to go over and visit her channel. And... Now it's time for the final reveal. So this is the basket that my dog's toys were in, and that's how it ends up every day. So this is the basket I put them in now, and I love it. So I was going to make me a lavender basket like Julie over at Julie's Designs and Signs. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Are you getting a toy? basket hmm you like your new basket your brother got a toy so she was just guarding the basket because she didn't want anybody to get the toys so anyway that's what the basket looks like and the little table setter look at that copper guys oh my gosh it is so pretty and I didn't go over it real heavy, so you can see the black still. Love how that turned out. And here is the leaf. Let me know if you guys would have white, wa white wax this. I'm still on the fence about it. I still might go back and white wax it. I'm just not sure. And then here's that bowl. I don't know what it was, but I'm calling it a bowl. And it's gorgeous like I sanded the inside I distressed the edges it's absolutely gorgeous thank you so much for watching if you like this video here's some others that I think you might like as well you all have a good evening have a great weekend